Let's play some Jeopardy. Let's do it. Alexa, let's play Jeopardy. This is Jeopardy. And now, here is the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trebek. Alex Trebek, I Thanks, heard. Johnny. Is going to start players. chemo again. We'll see what's in store for today. Have we a pull through, buddy? Our first Jeopardy Something category new. is Halley's Comet in History. Halley's Comet appears on this cloth that chronicles the Norman invasion. I know this. A repeat. Please respond in the form of a question, starting with phrases like, who is or what is. Repeat. Again, the category is Halley's Comet Tapestry. in History. Halley's Comet appears on French. this cloth that chronicles the Norman invasion. I think it's probably not French. Maybe Nor it's Norman. You need to respond in the form of a question starting with who is or what is. You can also say repeat. I know how to play. Or I don't know to skip the clue. What is I don't know? The correct response was what is the Bayou Tapestry? Bayou. Our second Jeopardy category is verbs. It's spelled super French. Don't be grim. When naming this word meaning to cut down and gather crops or to get a reward. Repeat. Again, the category is verbs. Don't be grim. When naming this word meaning to cut down and gather crops or to get a reward. What is reap? Yes, that's correct. Your next category is helping the environment. In 1990, this president signed amendments to the Clean Air Act addressing acid rain and ozone depletion. Who is Bush? Yes, that's it. The category is Let's Have a Ball. In 2009, Adidas unveiled the African-themed Jabulani Ball for this sport. What is soccer? Yes, that's correct. Your next category is Burgers. World Cup in Africa. Order a Route 66 and a spicy Houston burger at this 1950s themed restaurant chain. I know this too. It should have been a perfect round so far. That's not Fudge. it. Fudge. The correct response was, what is Johnny Rockets? The sixth category is Calais. The response starts with the letter A. The Hells Angels were hired as security at an ill-fated 1969 Rolling Stones concert at this California Speedway. What is Altamont? Excellent. Let's move on to Double Jeopardy. Like a Woodstock, Your seventh uh, Jeopardy category is Brighton. Center for the Intrepid. This Jack and Diane singer performed at the opening ceremony of the Center for the Intrepid. Who is Mellencamp? Correct. Our next category is Awards and Honors. This Children's Lit Award is named for the illustrator of the diverting story of John Gilpin. Children's literary. Please award. respond in the form of a question, starting with phrases like, who is or what is? What is the Newberry? That's, like That's not it. Lit. The correct response was, what is the Caldecott Medal? The category is actor directors. This actor director of 1982's Tootsie won a Best Director Oscar for Out of Africa. Who is Pollock? Yes, that's it. Our 10th category is from C to D. The response starts with the letter C and ends with the letter D. Ellen Reed Bank's novel is titled The Indian in This Place. What is the covered? No, the correct response was what is the covered? Today's 11th Jeopardy category is never to return. This explorer never made it back from his 1779 trip to Hawaii. Is Cook. You're right. The last category is Shakespeare's exit lines. The rest is silence, is the final line of this title Shakespeare character. Who is Hamlet? Good job. Let's see how you did. Well done. You got 8 of 12. You scored in the top 10% of players today. Nice. You're in the top 98% of players for all time. You've been playing a lot. We thank you for that. But you can rate our skill to show your support. Alexa, come back tomorrow. Stop.
Thank you for listening. Come back soon. Yeah, I don't know why they robbed me uncovered. Yeah, I have a funny story about that. I was a little kid. I'm, a, I'm an old guy. But yeah, I was a little kid at the time. They made a movie for the Indian in the cupboard. And I remember people were pretty excited about it. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, my brother, my older brother, he's, uh, he's a bit older than me. Uh, anyway, he was, uh, I don't know, he was going to take, take me to a movie or something like that. I don't really remember the exact backstory, but he pronounced the Indian in the cupboard as the Indian in the cupboard, cupboard, cupboard. Yeah, so that was a personal uh, story there. That was pretty funny. I thought it was, even as a little kid, I thought it was pretty funny. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Indian in the cupboard. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know why I got robbed on that. I said cupboard. I was going to joke and say cupboard, so maybe I did pronounce it a little messed up. Obviously, I know how to pronounce cupboard if I did say cupboard. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty good game. But I, also, those, oh, even that first clue. Like, I knew that it was like a tapestry. I haven't seen it like with my own eyes or I haven't seen it in person. I don't even know if it's available for viewing in person. But I've seen it on, like, I want to say TV shows something like that maybe a documentary or something and yeah it's like a big tapestry like which is like a kind of like a rug that they hang on walls a tapestry if you don't know what a tapestry is uh and yeah it's a i don't know what it said to chronicle the norman it chronicles the norman invasion of england so yeah i don't know it's pretty famous i've seen it before uh, i know about it i've heard about it and I know, I knew that it was French or it sounded French by you, which I, yeah, I guess it's not really, well, I guess it's Norman rather than French, but I don't know. Either way, I knew that, though I could have possibly had that, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, it definitely should have been 9 out of 12, maybe 10 out of 12, I don't know. Thank you for watching.